Hello, Mastertron Tamra here. I have got a cool product for us to take a look at. When I was at the Bay Area Makers Fair, um, one of the booths um, had a lot of activity, um, particularly with children, but actually from people from all different ages. And that kind of drew my attention. Whoa, did you make that light up? He did! Got it. You want to try level two then? You want to try level two? Yeah. Try level two? Do it again? Okay. And the thing they were looking at is this um, circuit whiz. So let's go ahead and open this up and we'll talk a little bit about it and what it is. All right. So there are some cards here and this is important to it. So um, this was made by some folks from with a strong education background who wanted to do something about um, getting people interested in STEM. And there have been various things out there to do that, but this one um, was really done by professional educators. So that makes a big difference. So let's talk a little bit about it. So here is the card. And the card says, start here, and it talks about what you do with each level. And it gives activities, both bonding moments. Here, I'm going to move this aside so you can see the cards a little bit better. It gives you bonding moment activities. Um, and it has game, like here it says, let's pretend to be an electron. And then it says what you want to do next and talks about the different challenges. So here we finally come to our level zero. It talks about how electricity works and what it is and gives us this look at this little code that we could scan if we really were struggling and we wanted to know the solution to the activity. It's right there. The idea is that this is supposed to be like a game um, for the people who are interested in doing it. Now, let's go back and take a look at what's in the box. So, these are the different levels. This is level one, level two, and so forth. We won't have time to look through all of them, but each one of these comes with activities and th problems that the student or the person just trying to learn a little bit more about how circuits work um, is going to do. So let's go ahead. I brought out a pair of scissors and I'm not sure I even need those. I don't. So that's a plus. We can put the scissors aside. So we have some alligator clips. Ooh, we have a little light ball um, in a uh, socket, a little small incandescent light ball. Um, we have a couple of spare light bulbs, and I'm assuming that's in case something goes wrong. And here's the card, and here's the rest of what we need. Now look at this. We have everything we need for this activity, even the batteries, um, ready to go. Here we have a battery holder. And here's the cards for level one. So the challenge for this level is can you make this light bulb light up? And then it says here, what do you need? Um, the light bulb, light bulb holder, we've got that. Battery holder, here we've got that. Batteries, in plural, because we have two of those. And two wires, which are alligator clips. So these, it says, for now on, will be the 
um, basic items because I believe they're going to get reused um, in other levels. All right, then it says bonding moment. The alligator clips on the wires make it easy to make your circuit. Use the clips to connect different components and remember to make a complete circuit. So this is supposed to give the person that's working with us some time to think about this and go, oh, okay, so maybe they've never used an alligator clip before in their life. And they go, okay, so this connects things. All right. And they can probably figure out that this is a wire for connecting things. And then the level one instructions go on and it says, where is the electricity being stored? Well, says in the batteries, obviously. All right. So somehow you, and again, going into the challenge they've been given, you need to get the electricity from these batteries into your light bulb and back. We need a complete circuit. Um, remember for the idea of circuits and that was introduced in this earlier level zero. That's what they're referring back to. And how circuits need to be complete, it talks about, and the pathway for it to get connected. So figure out how to use the items that you've been given to get the electricity flowing. And then again, here's a QR code that um, a parent or caregiver or teacher could use to um, see the solution. Now, obviously this is level one, so we would assume it has the simplest solution. Um, and many of you, because you are, you, you're subscribed to this channel, you know the solution, but let's go ahead and work through it together. So we're gonna start because it told us to put the batteries or I don't know if it specifically told us to put them in the holder, but it told us it was a battery holder. So that's where they go. All right. Then we need to get the light bulb to light up. We were specifically told to use these alligator clips. Um, but hopefully you can see this. There's actually um, screwed terminals on this little light bulb holder. We could back those up and What's kind of cool about that is there's always more than one solution to a particular problem. And that's what's fun about this is they could try different things. Like for instance, this is a solution that lights the light bulb. And if you had a little Phillips screwdriver, you could back off those screws and connect it up that way. Again, it worked. That's a valid solution but it specifically said to use the alligator clips. All right, so there's a couple of things that could go wrong with this. Um, we don't wanna short these two wires together and that would be probably learned out, uh, that would could be a learning experience for somebody. I think as a person directing somebody, I would probably mention that, not to short the two batteries, I mean the two battery wires together. But I think eventually what's gonna to come to somebody is that they hook up the alligator clip here. Well, they don't have a lot of other options. Like I said, they could connect it here, but that would be bad. So let's go ahead and hook it up what I think that they will eventually get around to. And then we'll hook up the other one and figure out that that probably needs to be hooked up to here, which is gonna light our light. So simple because it's an incandescent bulb. I've seen some starter electronic learning kits where it's an LED, which is of course polarity sensitive. But because it's an incandescent bulb, that's not an issue. And that's not the thing we're trying to teach right here. What we're trying to teach is to get that bulb to work, we need a complete circuit. We need power coming through this circuit back to the battery. And there's no better way of teaching something than doing it 
and seeing it in action, which is why this is such a great idea, in my opinion. All right. Now that we've figured that out, what we would tell the person that's going through this, and like I said, I, I, keep, I envision younger folks, but when I was at the booth, I saw people from, I would say, four years old all the way up to adults. Quite a few teenagers were enjoying it because I think the idea of it being a challenge and the levels, and they just found that interesting. So once somebody has been checked off and they've achieved a certain level, they would have achieved level one. And then the next thing to do would be to move on to level two. And there's a whole bunch of these in the box. Let's see if it tells us on the box how many in total we have um, as far as the different levels. Well, let's just go to the last envelope. Level 15. So 15 levels of learning. And let's take a quick peek inside level 2 just so we can see. So again, we have our cards. And they've given us um, another alligator clip. And it says, what do we need? Items need it, um, an extra wire, and random high things to do. So I'll put this where you can see this on the camera. They're going to have them try with the extra wire to do the thing that they'd already done, but to see what conducts electricity. Looks like, you know, they have a banana in the example. Well, we need, we should try that. If we were a kid, we could get a banana out and we could do that and we could see if that's gonna conduct electricity. And we keep moving through the, the um, experiments like that. Um, one of the levels, I can't remember which one, they introduce a switch. Anyways, but they keep trying different experiments and again, they'll have a challenge and when they passed it, they can move on to the next level. So uh, I hope you found this interesting. I think this is an excellent product. Again, it's called Circuit Wiz. I will put a link um, in the description in case you want to get a hold of it. Um, and I think this would be a great way for um, anybody in your family that's trying to learn a little bit more about um, how electricity works and so forth. If you're homeschooling, um, this could be ideal in that kind of a situation um, to teach some of these important lessons about how electricity and other things work. Um, they also, if you're an educator, they have this as a kit. And instead of coming in a box like this, which is intended for one or just a couple of children, they have it in a large toolbox. It has all the same levels, but it has a neat way of storage so you can put it all back in and so the next student can use it. And you can have, you could set that up so each table um, has an opportunity to try and solve the problem, the teaching teamwork um, and things like that. So again, I'll put the link in the description. Um, be sure and leave me a comment if you have any questions or would like to learn more about it or would, anything like that. Um, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in our next video.